All right, my train horn air system has received a rather significant upgrade. So I wanted to show that off to you guys. All right, first off, let's start here. This is a 12 gallon, three horsepower electric air compressor. Um, and it has a capacity to uh, charge up to 135 PSI, which the highest I want to run is 120, but um, 135 is a little bit higher than that, but really isn't going to hurt the horns because they're rated for 140. Okay, and I have that hooked up to this air hose that goes in behind the seat. Now, in the trunk, here's my new toy. This bad boy is a 20 gallon air tank. Now, it is a seven port tank. It has uh, two ports, one on each end here, which I've just installed plugs in. It has, um, well, you can't see it from this angle, but there's a quarter inch port on the bottom, which I installed the drain plug in. And then it has four half inch ports up top here. Now, on one of these ports, I installed a half inch T, the bottom of which goes to a safety valve that pops at 150, the top of which goes to a quarter inch quick connect, which eventually I plan on hooking up um, an air gauge to and possibly a bell. I don't know, I haven't gotten that um, a bell mount from my car yet. Now, in the other three ports, I have a half inch elbow going to a chrome plated ball valve. Ooh, ah, yeah, it's shiny. Um, going up to half inch airlines. Now, the reason I have three of them, well, this one here is the inlet for, from the compressor. This one here is the outlet to the horn valve. And then the third one, I figure I can hook up to possibly another tank. There is enough space in my trunk to fit two of these 20 gallon tanks. Um, another horn perhaps, um, maybe an air tool, something else, I don't know, I haven't decided, but I figure it's good to have three usable ports. And that goes, runs up front here, comes up through the back seat, here's the compressor hose. Oh, excuse me, this is the compressor hose here, this hose runs up down under the compressor between the seats up to a Graham White valve which I have hooked up here and then that just is attached to a piece of strap steel which um, runs down here loops back up and goes under the molding and then I have it uh, screwed in underneath the molding down here and then it goes to this red air hose here up on my horn mount, I have just a standard garden, there we go. I have just a garden hose connector, and on the other side of my red hose I have another garden hose connector. that up. And then I have the hose just going out the back window. Um, my feeling is that I want to keep it this way so that way um, if I do ever get pulled over by a cop while I have a horn on my roof I can tell him well it doesn't work it's not permanently hooked up because unless I'm honking I'm not gonna have the air hose attached and I don't know I may may not be able to get my talk myself out of a ticket we'll see. Hasn't been an issue yet but you never know. And, to test out the big air setup, I have a big horn. I have again brought out my Leslie S5T, although I still haven't gotten the chambers working the way I want them to, so I borrowed some RS chambers from my two other Leslie 3 chimes. But uh, anyways, we'll see how this uh, combined 32 gallon air setup works.